Chapter 4, Sorcery and the Enchanted Blade. Well, this is problematic. First thing, first thing is to save Char. Then I can find out if this guy has a connection to the Enchanted Blade. Enten. All I want is the kid. I'm done with you. Black. Damn, he sliced his ribbon. Oh, sorcery. It slashes with spirit energy. Mr. Shiba. Huh? Understood. Sorry, but this won't feel good. Another one. You won't get away. Ugh. What just happened? You passed out while we were flipping around. Wait, you don't feel sick? Nope. I see. That really was a bad guy sorcerer after her and this kid. Hey, what was all that sorcery stuff? Yep. Oh, I want to do sorcery too. You can learn. If you work like a maniac at it. Oh. The spirit energy that powers sorcery is basically a life force. It slumbers within every human. It's in you too. It's a spirit energy. I'll say this once. Hand over that kid. Sorry, I have my own priorities. That's goldfish. To use your words, that is the most strongest sword. The enchanted blade amplifies the spirit energy inside a person and whips it up into such a hyper concentrated form that the human body can no longer contain it. Once exposed, it takes on a shape. You could say the goldfish is a mass of energy far greater than what a sorcerer can muster alone. Black. Whoa. Damn, cut the entire building in half. Sliced off the tip of his cape. He doesn't just create objects from spirit energy outside of his body like me. That spirit energy itself. Hey now, I don't believe this. An enchanted blade. So there's another one out there. Another one. Then it's true. Yes, that special spirit energy reaction that only an enchanted blade has. I never thought I'd lay eyes on another, much less have the opportunity to fight one. Where's the other sword? Ha! Good question. Who has it? Your boss? An amateur, huh? You're supposed to defeat me before asking questions. Is this the fabled power that ended the war? Talk about anticlimactic. If that's all it does, then it isn't much different than ordinary sorcery. I sense the child. They're still nearby. You listening, little brat? Quit giving me the trouble. Jolt. Watch carefully and see what happens when you go looking for help. It's always, it always ends the same. More people will die horribly trying to protect you. Just like your mother did. Damn. Ugh. Pat, Pat. I don't know what happened, but don't worry. Just sit tight. Now watch. May the death of this little punk remind you of your mother's miserable death. While trying to protect you. Char. There's never been such a meaningless and pathetic death. Remember that. Chihiro. And don't forget. You're all alone. Red. That's enough. As you say, we'll do the questions later. 
He blocked it. So it has multiple powers. Black. Shh. He's been holding back. That was close. Shh. Black, again, another flying slash attack. In that case, he dodged it. Oh, too bad. Squeeze red. Invincible. Oh, my move. Oh. The power of red isn't just for defense. It absorbs and seizes ownership. Now do you see why I told you to sit tight? Chihiro, <laughs> that was exceptionally wonderful. Exceptionally? You're worthy of protecting me. I thought you were penniless. And don't forget, you're all alone. Hmm. But I have a goal that matters to me more than anything else. And going after the guys who are after you will bring me closer to that goal. Since we share common interests, I'll protect you. Really? Common interests are excellent. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I have three questions. Who's your boss? What do you want to do with that kid? And a cloud comes out of that sword. Where is the enchanted blade? Cloud gouger. Damn, cloud gouger. Make the vine boom. I don't have it. Bruh. <laughs> Damn, that episode was crazy. Yeah, he does look like Levi, huh? It's the low hairstyle. It's like Levi with shorter hair. <laughs>